Hi everyone, welcome to um, Indigenous Education and Perspectives. I'm your ELA for this unit and I have two groups, so I'm ELA of Group 3 and Group 4. So when I do a lot of my posts I will um, be referring to both of you guys and in my emails I'll refer to both groups. Um, yeah, so welcome aboard. This is a first year subject. Um, I have taught this subject before and I want to be really honest with you guys. I've been teaching now for over oh, 12 years um, and to be honest, I really did not know anything about Indigenous education and perspectives and how to uh, bring that into the classroom and what that looks like. Um, and this unit when I did it last was a real eye-opener for me. Um, and I think for a lot of um, teachers and students, it is a real eye-opener. And so I really want to encourage you, if you're coming in here and you really don't know anything about it, um, this unit has changed the way that I um, teach. Um, and it's changed the way of how, about how I integrate Indigenous perspectives into what I do in the classroom. So um, I'm still learning. I'm still learning things and I'm sure I'll keep learning as this unit goes goes on. So I want to um, really encourage you with that, that um, whilst I am no expert in Indigenous education, I really hope that, like myself, that you um, walk away with just a greater knowledge of what has gone before us and how things have changed and the influences of Indigenous culture um, that surround us. Um, so I'm a mum. I have two beautiful girls. Um, Isabella is five and Eve is four, I mean three, um, and she'll be four in just a couple of weeks. Um, they keep me on my toes. They love being outside and active. And it's currently winter in Melbourne um, and school holidays. So um, we'll be out and about keeping them entertained. Um, yeah. So my online hours are going to be, um, I'll try and get online for a few hours every day. Apart from Wednesdays and Sundays, I have total technology free days. So I will not be online. Um, I won't answer emails. They are my Swinburne Online um, free days. We're blowing a gale here. Um, I want to encourage you all um, being online. I know that a lot of your mums, um, dads, you have families, you work full time. And I take my hat off to you. I think it's a really tough gig. And um, personally, I couldn't do it. Um, so I want to put that out there and go, you know, what you guys are doing um, to study, to reach your dreams, um, well done and good on you. And I'm here to support you through it. I'm here to support you on this journey. Um, please ask questions if you're not sure. If I don't know the answer, I will say so and I'll um, find out from the rest of my team and the unit coordinator. Um, I don't know it all and as a teacher and teaching children and you guys, I think it's really important that you understand that we are lifelong learners. Um, and you know what, I don't know everything. Um, so if I don't know the answer to a question, I will get back to you. I wanna encourage you, It's being online is about collaboration. So if you know the answer to a question, please hop on and answer it. In, interact with each other. That makes your experience with Swimbin Online so much more exciting um, and richer and deeper in your knowledge. Now your first assignment up, you need to um, form a group. So I want you to go to the link that I have sent, um, put in for your assessment um, and get into that group and make a head start on the assessment. More information will be coming um, in and about that. If you have any questions about Canvas um, or referencing, I'd put them in the general question and answer thread um, and let's keep the uh, assessment questions and answers in the assessment question and answer thread. I hope you guys really enjoy this unit. I hope that you have a great um, 12 weeks um, and that we learn lots about Indigenous education and perspectives together. I look forward to meeting you all and we'll chat soon. Bye.